हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग बिगनर जेल्डा ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेज राउंड नाइन वन फाइव सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट दैट यू आर गिवेन अ ट्री इन वन जेल्डा ऑपरेशन यू कैन डू एज फॉलोज चूज टू वर्टेस ऑफ द ट्री यू एंड वी कंप्रेस ऑल द वर्टेस ऑन द पाथ फ्रॉम यू टू वी इन टू वन वर्टेक्स इन अदर वर्ड्स ऑल वर्टेस ऑन पाथ फ्रॉम यू टू वी विल बी इरेज फ्रॉम द ट्री अ न्यू वर्टेक्स डब्ल्यू विल बी क्रिएटेड then every vertex s that had an edge to some vertex on the path from u to v will have an edge to the vertex w so suppose we have this tree which is shown here so we take this tree and we are now considering the nodes which are there in one path and compress all of them to one so we are taking the nodes from 1 to 5 suppose and we are compressing it to a single node so this node would be connected with the other vertices through which the previous nodes were connected like 5 was connected to 11 and so on so all these nodes will be connected to this particular node now so what is our problem now we need to determine the number of minimum number of zelda operations required for the tree to have only one vertex so we need to have compress the tree and check when can we receive only one vertex so what are the number of operations we need to make so first of all let's draw the tree for the first problem so first problem has one one is connected to two two is connected to three and then three is connected to four now in this case as all the nodes are connected so directly from 2 to 4 or from 4 to 2 you can say whatever this is only one operation so we need only one operation here as we can squeeze the whole tree at once as all are connected looking at the next example we have 3 3 is connected to 1 it is also connected to 5 and 2 now 5 is connected to 6 and 6 is connected to 7 7 is connected to 8 9 and 6 is connected to 4 That's it. I think three one, three five, three two five six six seven, seven eight, seven nine, and six four. Yeah. So in this case, one you can compress is this one, which is three two one. Now once you compress this, it can be formed as suppose let it be 3 dash so 3 dash 5 6 4 and also you can compress this 7 8 9 so after compressing 7 8 9 it would be 7 dash suppose now how many operations you did here two operations now you have 3 dash 5 6 7 dash in one line and four otherwise so this one is formed and this is also can be included in this only hence we have three operations now going to the next one 1 2 3 two connected to 4 4 connected to 5 3 connected to 6 and 2 connected to 7 now for this whole tree 
we can have a single node let it be two dash and from it seven will be connected and from this we will have only one node so two operations needed for the last example you have one two three and four all are connected then four connected to five and two connected to six so this one is the one tree and then it is one dash three then this can be merged to one node so i think you got some intuition that what we are trying to do actually what the logic here is let us take the case of the last one only one two three four four is connected to five and two to six now here you know that one path can be formed from one leaf to the other so if you have suppose this one one two three four so how many paths are there it is only one path because we have two leaves so two leaves form a path now suppose if i have here extending this tree five six so here and seven so here i have how many leaves one one two three three leaves so we can have two paths here so similar is the way here i have how many leaves okay so in this case one leaf is six other leaf is three and the next leaf is five so i have three leaves here and two leaves form a path so i have one path from uh, five to three you can say five to six whichever you can take so i am taking from five to three suppose now this whole tree is connected with this so it will be one dash two six and then another path will be formed with the help of six so like this we can form the paths so mainly the conclusion is that we need to count the number of leaves as here three leaves was there so when we calculate the number of leaves as one path equal to two leaves so our paths will be the half of the count of leaves so 3 by 2 is our number of paths but remember that you need to take the seal value because in case of odd numbers we are having an extra path so that's all for the solution i hope you guys understand this logic thanks for watching